the program, we have a business unusual segment and women in technology have faced discrimination that limits experimentation, inhibits a company's professional growth and halts technological progress across disciplines. So just what are the challenges they face? Bozoma St. John, Uber's chief brand officer, spoke kindly about working in Silicon Valley as a black woman at Red Code's Code Commerce event. We remiss we didn't talk about the issue of gender in Silicon Valley and diversity. Yeah. Uh, it's a big topic. Obviously, um, Uber's been at the center of it. It sometimes feels like they brought in the women to clean up the mess the men make. So how do you how do you look at that? Because it feels it feels a little like that. Let's get ourselves a lady to clean this place up. <laughs> you know, this is not unique to Silicon Valley. You know, this, right. this happens in the grocery store. Like, right. think, you know, th this thing happens all the time and it's not new to me. Right. You know, it's like I've been a black woman my entire life. And I wish I could be ideal and say, you know what, I should be seen, you know, just for what I do and who I am and, you know, forget the labels. You know, but that's not possible right. today. Mm -hmm. And so I refuse to be angry about that. Mm -hmm. Really, I do. I don't carry it as a burden, because mm -hmm. otherwise I can't do the work. You right. know, I would, I would just be the angry black woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm not. I'm really good at my job. Mm -hmm. You know, I can do this job. Right. It's not about me coming in as a black woman to clean up the mess. Right. It's about me, Bose, mm -hmm. uh, having the talent and the ability to actually do this work. How do you fix this problem? What do you imagine has to happen? In, yeah. And then let's just talk about tech, because yeah. I know it's everywhere. But yeah. Every, again, there like just has to be more. There has to be more of us. Right. There has to be more. Like, that is rule number one. Like, fix number one. There just has to be so more. Higher, I know. More women, yes, it higher, more the, the numbers involved. matter in this particular case. Right. They really do. Mm -hmm. Again, there is no magical Wizard of Oz that is, like, going to fix this for us. Mm -hmm. You know, we just have to open the doors. We, there just needs to be more of us. Mm -hmm. And that is the step one. I'm like, I, I don't want to talk about anything else until we get more. How do you feel about being a role model, not just within the tech community and yeah. executives, but like for young women? On one hand, I'm so excited about it, right? Because I'm like, yes, you can see me, you know it's possible, it's fantastic, especially for young black girls. You know, I'm really, really, really proud to be in the spotlight to represent them. However, it is also terrifying, you know, because the pressure of it. And it, it's so funny. So first day of school for my daughter was a couple of weeks ago, right? And um, a lot of the parents were going to stay after, you know, after the sort of, you know, putting the desk together to help out in the classroom the rest of the day. I couldn't because I had to take a flight uh, to go to a, a meeting I could not miss. And um, I was feeling really heavy about it, right? And she was like standing off in the corner and chatting with her little girlfriends. So she sat over there talking to them and she was like halfway like bragging and boasting, you know, about what I do and the fact that I couldn't be there because I had to go do something, you know, something else. You know, and it, it was just like, it, it, it resounded for me how important it is to be visible, you know, and to do this in a really powerful and unapologetic way, you know, which is that that's, that's what I want to be, you know, and I, I, want, I want to be something that is worthy to be bragged about.